Alright my friends, so I just finished watching this video and um and um in my opinion strictly my opinion predicated upon my opinion I think according to my opinion I think Peter Schiff is right about his opinions and the purpose of this video is not to necessarily highlight these two debaters, but to highlight what I think. I think, according to my opinion, Bitcoin, in my opinion, and the derivatives of, in my opinion, is one of the stupidest, one of the worst concept in the history of humanity and the whole Wall Street thing. If Wall Street is going to be a thing, and we all adopt Wall Street, and we make it part of our life, and when we include Bitcoin and the derivatives of, that, in my opinion, is one of the stupidest financial instruments in the history of instruments. I think Bitcoin is stupid. What does Bitcoin actually do? When we go back into its original mission statement of what Bitcoin was supposed to be about, it was all about... Hey man, we don't like the Fed. We don't like fiat. We don't like gold. We don't like Wall Street. We don't like dollars. Hey man, we're gonna stick it to the banksters. We're gonna create our own thing and it's gonna be our thing. You could buy a pizza with a Bitcoin. Right? And all this bullshit. And that was the original mission statement. You know, it's let's stick it to the mass up. And then it's been around for like 13 years or so, if my memory is correct, but it's only become a thing in like the last four to five years, and then through the progression of how things progress, and now we have ETFs, we have altcoins, we have shed coins, and now you can buy a futures contract. You can trade it on Wall Street, you could put on puts, you could put on calls, you could put on options, you can do all these, all these, like, strategies. There's many ways to, like, buy and trade and invest in Bitcoin. If I remember correctly, isn't it true that the whole purpose of Bitcoin is, like, to stick it to the massa and... At the time, you could only go long, you can't short Bitcoin. Remember, that was like a thing. Hey man, you can't sell, you can't short, you can only go long. So everybody got into like Bitcoin, expecting it to continue to go up, 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 and up, and up, and up, 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 and away. Right? It's only going to go up, it's only, it's only, it's only going to continue to go up because you got to hog, because it, the only way, the only way up is up. It could never go down because you can't short. And then everybody got into the digital wallet, the cold storage, and then that was a thing. But then something miraculously happened. Adoption. Wall Street was like, hey, let's like capitalize on this thing. And now you can go short. Now you can put on an option. Now you could put on a put. You can do all of these esoteric strategies. Many ways, like I said, Till Sunday to buy a crypto. There's many ways to buy this stupid shit. I.e. the Bitcoin. And now you have ETFs. ETFs of Bitcoin. Which does nothing. Which isn't backed by anything. It doesn't have an earnings report. It doesn't create a profit. It doesn't do anything. And the blockchain is a clown act anyway. And what's this thing called metamedics? Memetics? I heard the term thrown around during this video. Memetics? What the fuck is a memetic? It sounds like something out of like a Harry Potter story or something. We gotta go into the memetics, man, to, to fight the uh, evil spirits. The evil spirits dwell in the memetics. What is that shit? Look, here's my thing. If if Bitcoin and the whole blockchain thing disappeared tomorrow and you woke up the next day, your life would not change one bit. 
you wouldn't even notice that the blockchain had disappeared. Like, what does it actually do? Like, during this video, the believer of, like, Bitcoin had explained certain properties of, like, the blockchain and stuff. But, in my opinion, I ain't buying it. I think the whole blockchain thing is one big hoopla, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing anything that, that that's tangible, in my opinion, other than some, you know, vague vagueness about it vagueness of itself like i said if you woke up tomorrow and the blockchain was completely completely disintegrated your life wouldn't change one bit at all you wouldn't even notice that it's not there anymore it's like back in the day people used to believe in the ether and then we woke up and realized one day hey the ether isn't isn't a thing or like the astral plane or something you know it's a made up thing. It's. What is it? Anyway, before I digress, so let me get back to the whole ETFs thing. So now we have ETFs of Bitcoin. Like we have ETFs for like the energy sector, ETFs for the uh, medical sector, ETFs for the durable goods sector. You know, we have like 12 big ETFs that track the overall market, right? I think there's like 12 ETFs, 10 or 12, something like that. Anyway, all of those ETFs are based on metrics, earnings, asset prices, balance sheets, earnings report, financial statements, right? You can decide, do you want to go with an ETF that tracks the uh, financial sector because you think the banks are doing good and the banks are making profit? So you're going to invest in the ETF that tracks the banking sector because, because the earnings report is coming up. And you want to speculate based on the earnings report that hey, the banks are doing well. They're doing they're they're healthy. They're strong. They're in good profit. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy an ETF that tracks the the banking sector because I think the banks moving forward are gonna be profitable. So I'm gonna invest in a bank ETF, which is based on an earnings report, and I can and I can bet on that moving forward. But then like you have an ETF for like a Bitcoin that doesn't have earnings report. There's no balance sheet. There's no profit report reports there's nothing there's no metrics that tracks bitcoin so how do you get involved in the bitcoin if there's no metrics for it it's completely it's completely like based on like this this magical fantasy of it's always going to go up so that that's the only thing bitcoin got going for it is price you're investing and speculating on an asset that all it's got for itself is price that's it but then you know the SEC decided, hey, with all its wisdom, hey, let's let's just let's just sanction and approve of these ETFs for cryptos. What metric do you use to buy an ETF for a Bitcoin? Yeah, you can buy iBit, but like, what metrics do you establish in order to get involved in in iBit or any of the other ETFs for for cryptos? I know I know what metrics I would use before I get involved in the energy sector before I get involved in an ETF that tracks the energy sector or the hospitality sector or the durable goods sector I look at reports but what do I look at when I want to invest in, a, in an ETF that tracks Bitcoin there's nothing there it's stupid Bitcoin is fucking stupid in my opinion it's fucking stupid it's a stupid asset I don't call it whatever, I don't know what the fuck you call it it's stupid. Bitcoin is fucking dumb. It's my opinion. Moving forward, it's strictly my opinion. I don't believe Bitcoin will be a thing within the next 30 to 50 years. I don't think it will exist. It's like all the other, like, you know, highfalutin idea through our history no longer exists. There was a time in history where we, like, we invested and we used like corn as currency. We used coffee beans as currency at one time in history. Tally sticks was one time in history a currency. People bought and traded those. That was their money system. And today, what do we have? We have a crypto, man. It's all about the cryptos, man. It's all about the Satoshis, man. Don't you understand what a Satoshi is? A Satoshi is life, man. You gotta have a Satoshi, man. It's all about the Satoshis, man.
You gotta get behind the Satoshis, man. It's all about the Satoshis, man. What the fuck is a Satoshi? Anyway, that's all. That I mean, yeah. We went, we went from tally sticks to corn to coffee beans to wheat as as a medium of exchange, as a form of currency, to a Satoshi. How stupid. How dumb. Like I said, according to my opinion, I don't believe, I don't think, Bitcoin will be around within the next 30 to 50 years. I'm going to give it 30 to 50 years. Look, hey, I'll even go out on the limb and say, within the next 20 to 50 years, Bitcoin might not exist, might not be a thing. Right? Think about this. What guarantee is there that your hodled coins, which you are storing on like a cold storage or or a, a, a digital wallet, what guarantee that your dumb coins will be around within the next 20 to 30 to maybe 50 years out? If I buy a bond, it's got a maturity date. I can hold it for 30 years. I can hold it till maturity. And then I can uh, cash it in 30 years later. Right? And I can accru accrue interest on it. Make a profit off of my bond. But like, what guarantee is there that your cryptos are going to be there when you're ready to take, take profit or take delivery of? Oh, but you'll say, well, I already have delivery. I'm holding them in my cold storage in my digital wallet. They're in there. What makes you think that the uh, the system that's able to read your stupid cryptos on your stupid cold storage will, will still exist? Right? Like, by analogy, if cars no longer exist, your 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 car diagnostic tool that you plug into the computer of your car to read the data of your car in mechanic terms, mechanics use something called like a diagnostic tool. It's a computer tool that they plug into your computer and they read the data from your computer. It's a diagnostic tool. Now in order for the diagnostic tool to work, you gotta have a car to plug into in order to pull out the data. But if that but if that mechanism goes away goes away, you're not going to get your goddamn coins. By analogy. As crude as that analogy is, hey, it's my opinion. I don't believe Bitcoin will be around within like 50 years. I'm going to give it 50 years out. Because it's stupid. It's a stupid concept. And this thing called proof of work. Oh, hey, man, don't you know? Proof of work is... is the value of Bitcoin is in its it's in its proof of work. Seriously, give me, man. What do you what do you think I'm a what do you, what do you think I'm a nine year old? So in my opinion, Bitcoin is a stupid investment, and according to my opinion, a very tiny percentage, a very tiny minority of investors, let's call them the whales, the bigwigs, are actually making profit off of this shit. Whereas the little guy, the little people, they're be they're they're being left holding the bag. Personally speaking, in my personal experience, my personal life, I've never met anybody that had gotten involved in cryptos in the early phase and like hodled all this time and actually made profit off of this Bitcoin garbage and actually made life changing profit that had actually been utilized and made their lives better they're still struggling they're still having a hard time paying their bills so where's all the where's all the wealth going going the wealth and the profits in my opinion is definitely not trickling down oh and during this interview this guy's name was mentioned yeah so i go on wikipedia of course i can neither confirm nor deny the statements of wikipedia Anyway, I checked this guy out, and all of this information about him showed up on Wikipedia. And I'm like, seriously, this guy? With this track record? 
Are they smear, you guys?